Let's start with the first color setting. Go to edit and then choose preferences. Then go to the part, part design tab. Select shape appearance. Here you can change the default color that every shape will have after creating. You can also let FreeCAD choose, check the random box for this. Click on OK and create a new sketch. Select the XY plane to sketch on. Then create a circle on the origin with a diameter of 40 mm for example. Click close to exit the sketch. Select pad to extrude the sketch. You see a random color was chosen. Click on OK to apply the extrusion. Select the pad and press delete to remove it. Click on the sketch and create a new extrusion. The color is still the same. Click on cancel to abort the extrusion. Select the body and press delete to remove it. Now create the same sketch again in a new body. And extrude it with the pad feature. Now the color is different. So you have to delete a whole body to let the color be random. Click on OK to apply the extrusion. Let's move on to some other color settings. Go to Edit and then choose Preferences. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Uncheck Random and click on this box next to it. Here you can change the color. The current color I use is white. Click on OK. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can export 3D models directly to their website with this macro. Then select how it should be manufactured. And configure your project details. Finally, preview your 3D model. And submit your manufacturing request. Now expand the Sketcher tab and select Appearance. Here you see the working colors. They are all set to light gray as you see. This ensures that the sketch lines remain visible on a white object. These two are also set to the same gray. Click on OK to apply and exit the menu. Delete the body again and create a new sketch. Draw the same circle and extrude it. Now the object is white as you see. Let's create a sketch on the top surface. Then exit it. You see it's still visible on the white object. Double click on the sketch to edit it. Here you see it's also visible. So these were some color settings that might come in handy for you. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.